Hi guys, this is Sharon from House of Prayer, and I'm here to bring you a prophecy that was given to Bertha Dude on December 19th, 1945, and the title is Cosmos Changes Catastrophe. Whatever takes place in the cosmos is unknown to you, and neither will you ever ascertain the laws of nature in such depth that you will be able to determine when and how changes take place, which accordingly God's eternal plan of salvation must take place in order to prepare the work of earth redevelopment. The events happening in nature will always take you by surprise. Consequently, you will be unexpectedly be confronted by a powerful natural event which is understandable to someone with spiritual vision but which remains incomprehensible to the majority of people because they fail to recognize the correlation between all happenings including cosmic ones with the spiritual development of people and all tangible beings and because they have no knowledge of the approaching end and the transformation of a work of creation, which is only meant to serve spiritually development and has become pointless now due to people's God-opposing will. The preparations in nature proceed impeccably and people, therefore, pay little attention to them, and yet they would be able to observe many deviations which should make suspicious if they were vigilant and allowed creation to communicate with them more. Changes are occurring in the interior of the earth which will lead to eruptions. At first, they will only partially break through in order to then, at a specific time, led to a complete destruction of the earth's surface, so that God's eternal plan of salvation can take the course His will has determined. Countless spiritual beings in the earth's interior will literally liberate themselves, and God will give His approval. He will allow them to become active at a specific time because their activity does not oppose his law of eternity. And the earth will tremble when these beings become active. It will open up in places and thus clear the way for the beings to enter different shapes than before. And when this activity takes place, it will cause great changes on the earth's surface to the horror of the inhabitants who were subject to a dreadful natural disaster. However, this will only be a preliminary event for the subsequent total destruction of earth. It will be a final wake-up call for all those who survive it and an indication of the near end which will have previously found no credence with people. Nevertheless, God's language will be understandable to everyone who wants to understand it. Everything that happens in the universe, including every cosmic change, is due to spiritual development. And even if people don't understand it on account of their lack of knowledge, they must nevertheless be affected by the activity of beings which are still constrained in the interior of the earth and which strive towards liberation for the sake of their higher development. Countless human lives will fall victim to this eruption and enter the spiritual kingdom in a more or less mature state. Yet countless beings will also be released and be able to strive towards ascent in different forms. And 
So the immense event in nature is simultaneously a process of release after an infinitely long time of constraint within hard matter and a transition from the indwelling spiritual substance into less painful forms. But it also ends the process of development of spiritual beings in the last stage on earth, which could have used their free will for their deliverance. No one can predict this cosmic event in advance unless in profound faith in God he is informed of it by the Spirit of God. For the divine laws of nature are not perceptible for people so that the day and hour will always remain hidden until the first tangible manifestation announces itself, but which will be ignored at first. Yet as soon as the day approaches, great restlessness will come upon all living beings. Human beings and animals alike will inwardly feel it, and only spiritually awakened people will be able to explain it and yet not be listened to by the worldly-minded who will never want to accept a destruction of earth and thus be taken by complete surprise by the eruption of the natural elements. And God will repeatedly announce this event. He will not leave people in ignorance as to what they can expect in time to come. Again and again, he instructs his messengers to mention the forthcoming event. For the day will be not be long in coming, and careful observers will also recognize the changes, and he will look upon it from a spiritual point of view for the goal of everything that comes according to God's eternal plan of salvation relates to the spirit's development which is in danger and which God's love wants to help. Amen. Hebrews chapter 12, 25, 26. See to it that you do not refuse him who speaks. If they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, how much less Will we, if we turn away from him, who warns us from heaven? At that time, his voice shook the earth, and now he has promised, Once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. Haggai chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while... I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and what is desired by all nations will come. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord Almighty. Amen.